SGLT2 inhibitors also called gliflozins which inhibit reabsorption of glucose in the kidney and therefore lower blood sugar. Gliflozins are used in treatment of type 2 diabetes mellitus. The most common gliflozins are dapagliflozin, impagliflozin and canagliflozin. The differences in the structures is relatively small. They are often used in combination therapy. For example while in the dual therapy metformin plus gliflozin and in the triple therapy metformin, sulfonylurea and gliflozin. Gliflozins are second or third line agents instead of first line because there are other medications already available, that have better safety record and are less expensive than gliflozins. Gliflozins are option for the patients who do not respond to metformin monotherapy, especially if weight reduction of patient is also required. SGLT1 and SGLT2 are major SGLTs. SGLT2 present in the kidneys on the epithelial cells lining on the first segment of the proximal convoluted tubule. SGLT2 is an important transport protein which promote reabsorption of glucose back into blood circulation and is responsible for approximately 90% of the renal glucose reabsorption. Gliflozins act by inhibiting sodium glucose transport protein 2. By inhibiting SGLT2, gliflozins prevent the kidney's reuptake of glucose from the glomerular filtrate and as a result lower the glucose level in the blood circulation and leads to the excretion of glucose in the urine. Gliflozins not only control blood sugar but they also provide significant cardiovascular benefit in type 2 diabetic patients. According to studies, canagliflozin, a member of this class, found to enhance blood sugar control as well as reduce body weight and systolic and diastolic blood pressure. Adverse effects of SGLT2 inhibitors or gliflozins include urinary tract infections and osmotic diuresis. Also gliflozins can increase risk of diabetic ketoacidosis. They specifically cause euglycemic DKA. Interactions are important for SGLT2 inhibitors because most type 2 diabetes mellitus patients are taking many other medications. Gliflozins appear to increase the diuretic effect of thiazides, loop diuretics and related diuretics and may increase the risk of dehydration and hypotension. It is important to adjust the dose of sulfonylureas, if gliflozins is added to diabetic patient, to avoid hypoglycemia. Thank you. Like and subscribe our channel for next coming videos.